Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim about teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kwadash. And as you can see here, this happened yesterday in uh, Salakia. This happened yesterday in central London. Blood covered, how, blood covered household cavalry horses run loose through London, yeah? So the cavalry horses, you know, that you see by Buckingham Palace and whatnot, that the soldiers sit on, they, they you know, they, was, they were let loose in the city. They ran loose. Now, we don't know how this happened. It could have been set up. And it's all signs, basically. This is the point. It could have been set up or they just actually ran loose, you know. The animals actually ran loose because pretty much, you know, I know brothers have done different videos on this. But I was seeing it and, you know, made me think that basically the earth is against Esau, nature is against Esau. And we know the animals, the animals, they're in order, man. Animals are in order, right? So there's, and, and, and we know that animals see, in particular, you know, dogs and, dogs and cats, and, you know, they see spirits. And so do, you know, the horses also, man. Animals, animals are more in tune with the, Lord, with the spirit of Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai. They're in order, basically. So the earth is re rebelling against Esau, even today. Now, this was yesterday, but even today I saw Another cat, there's something going on, man, and it's all spiritual. Another cavalry horse knocked a soldier off of um, a soldier was sitting on it. You can see it on the Daily Mail, and it, you see the soldier on the floor. The horse knocked him off, basically. There was a whole row of these soldiers on the horses, and it knocked him off. You see, the, you see him laying on the ground, and the horse is moving around wild. So, there's, there's, there's obviously, these are obviously signs, all right? And you see it, you just saw, it. even in this video, you're gonna see. You know, you just see these people in this world, they're just lost, man. These things are happening. They're just walking around like everything's normal. So these are signs, man. And, it, and remember, look what it says here, a blood-covered horse. What does the scriptures say about um, Esau? That, the, you know, the, ho the power was given unto him to take the red horse and power was given unto him to take, um, power was given unto him to take peace from the earth. I'm going to read that. But these are signs, all right, that we know, you know, brothers that believe in the scriptures in Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, these are signs that we know that the Lord is near, man. The Lord is near, all right? Yahweh Shai, he's near. He's about to return and establish the kingdom of heaven to take down these devils from their rulership, all right? Because you can see, man, look, I'm going to read this, I'm going to play this video and read the scriptures in a minute. You can see in this society, you know, pretty much how, um, you know, it's diastopian, man. This is an Orwellian system. It's, it's, it's just um, depressing, man. A change has to come. This, this, this kingdom has run its course, man. This so-called white man, he's run his course. His time is almost up. So let me, let me play this here. Look at this white horse with the blood, it's covered in blood. So these are signs, man. It says some of the horses were seen, it looked like it was, they say it was potentially injured. But these are signs, man. One of the horses appears to have sustained injuries after its escape. It's all spiritual, man. At least five people have been injured, including the soldier outside of the soldier station. And you know what, because look at these drones walking around. And you know, it's it, um, yeah. So it knocked these soldiers off of, you know, off of. They were saddling them, knocked them off, and escaped. And even today, it happened again today. You see it on the day, you see the you see the soldier laying on the ground. The horse bucked him off today also. So they, these animals, even the, it just made me think the the earth is rising up against Esau, man. The nature is against the so-called white man, man, all right? Because you have to remember, even these horses, man, you know, they got these, they're, they're making them, they're, 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 they're in these cities on concrete. The horses are meant to be out in the wild, man. They're on these, in these cities on concrete. You know, they got them, they got these police horses, they're manoeuvring them around cars on the main road. It's like, even when you see the horses, they look upset, man. So let me read this here. This is Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, 
and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword and that's talking about the Roman Empire but basically the so-called white man he represents the horse, the red horse that power was given to to take peace from the earth, all right? And it's, it's spiritual that that horse you saw, the white horse, had the, it was covered in blood, man. You know? So these are all signs, man. So, but it said that power was given unto him to take, um, that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that's a so-called white man, man. All right? Because the horses, are, horses represent what? Horses represent power. They represent rulership. They represent power. All right? There's many scriptures on that. There's the one in Ecclesiastes. What does it say? I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Meaning the servants is symbolic of the so-called white man. They are really our natural servants. But they've been on the horse. They've had the horsepower. They've had the rulership. All right. But what does the scripture says here? It says that it says that was red and power was given to him that sat there on. So power was given to this so-called white man. The Lord give you the power, man. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the 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 God of the heavens. He gave you devils the power, man. But you Edomites, you're proud, man. You think it was your your elites have pushed that so much pride. You devils think it was actually your your own might that got you this kingdom. No, it was the Lord, man, and He's the one ending it. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai gave you the power, man. Like he gave to every nation in a point of time to rule. So this is the point. Pa says power was given to him that sat there to take peace from the earth. And these Edomites have taken peace from the earth, man. Everyone, no one is at rest. The animals are, are, are mourning. The trees are mourning. The, the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're, we're mourning in particular the elect. You know, the, the heathens are mourning. The whole earth is mourning, man. A change has to come. And you can feel, you can feel it in the air. All right was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and it was given to him a great sword and what's the, how does the so-called white man rule man he oppresses people with a sword all right his weapons which you, you can read in the book of genesis the blessing given unto esau which these are, they are the edomites the blessing given to esau was what the sword man all right the sword was given to the esau which is symbolic of the so-called white man and what have they done they've taken peace from the earth man okay by way of the sword, all right? By way of the sword, they've murdered people, they've killed. How did they get America, man? They got America by what? By way of the sword, man. You see? How did they get the whole planet Earth? By way of the sword. And it's not just, it's not just their physical weapons, also their biological weapons. They disease you. They disease people. You know, they destroy your immune system. You know, disease warfare. So this man has taken peace from the Earth, man. So let me read this here. This is Revelation. No, no, Isaiah. I want to read this here. Isaiah 14 and 7. Isaiah 14 and 7. And it says, it says, um, let me read this here. It says, okay, I'll read, actually I'll read it um, from 5. Isaiah, Isaiah 14 and 5. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. All right. He who smote, that's talking about the staff represents power. Horses, staffs, these represent power right scepters is represent is represent in rulership so the lord's gonna break the staff of the wicked who's the wicked the so-called white man the edomites all right which we know is the so-called white man which is the last kingdom that the that was gonna rule before the savior returns to take them down yahweh shai returns to take them down he's coming to take down the kingdom of the edomites so the lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Yeah, no one ain't going to stop this. See, when the, when the Lord judges the so-called white man, no one ain't, the heathens ain't going to stand up to defend you. No one's going to care. They're going to be happy you're going down. Because why? You smoke the people and even the bugged out of our people. When Esau goes down, you know, and he's finally brought down, even the bugged out of our people, they're going to eventually be in their right mind. It's just everything has to run its course, man. They're going to be happy when Esau's out of the way. All right? He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. And they ruled the nations in anger, right? Continual oppression. An example of that now is even what's going on in the place that they call the, the, well, the state of Israel. What are they doing to those, those Ishmaelites, those Arabs, those, the, the so-called Palestinians? What are they doing to them? They're oppressing them. They're murdering them. It's a genocide, man. All right, that's persecution. But who did that really begin with? To see the so-called white man, his system really began with the persecution of the Israelites. 
bringing down our people. That's how his system began, right? The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, all throughout the world, all right. So he's persecuted and non hindereth is persecuted and non hindereth The whole earth is at rest. This is the point I want to get. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, everyone's gonna be at rest, man. The animals, you know, everyone's. It says they break forth into singing. You see. They break forth into singing when Esau is brought down, man. It says, Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the saders of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellows come up against us. Meaning what? The fir trees rejoice at thee, and the meaning the trees are going to rejoice, man. The trees are going to rejoice. Even when you look at, I believe when you look at the flag of Lebanon, it's a, it's a tree, because they're known for that. The saders of Lebanon. All right, saying, since thou art laid down, no fellows come up against us. Meaning, since you Edomites have been brought to down low, no one's, no one's come against the, the trees, basically. Because this man, you see, we've been saying this for years. These so-called white people, they are against nature, man. They're adversaries of nature itself. All right. So it says, health and beneath... Health and beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth, they have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Yeah, because they're getting ready to judge you. These lesson, the nations are, the Lord is stirring up all these nations, man. They the, let the weak say I'm strong to do what? To judge the so-called white man, particularly Babylon the Great, which is America. All right? From their thrones, all the kings of the nations. And they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Meaning what? Meaning you're going to be brought down. See, the so-called white man don't have the power that he once had. Now all the Iranians have the same capability. The, 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 you know, the, um, the East Indians have the same capability. India has it. Pakistan has the same capability. The Arab nations, they were once just living in what? Sand dunes, man. Sand dunes. Now they have great cities. They got nuclear weapons. All right? So it's all, it's all turning up against the Edomites. And why is the Lord doing this? For the sake of Jerusalem, for the sake of his people. That's why all this earth is in the state that it is because the Lord's doing it for the great day of judgment on, because of what they've done unto us, all right? The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the great payback's coming. So let me read this here. Let me end it here, all right? Revelation, uh, Revelation 11, Re Revelation 11 and 18. Revelation 11 and 18, it says... And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the yeah, who does servants, the prophets, the men that have been proclaiming Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's word, man, all throughout the four corners of the earth, man, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and their fruit all over the world, man, and the believers, basically, the believers in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the true, the true. Power of the Bible, man. Knowing that we're the Israelites, proclaiming who Esau is, take, telling them that this world's about to end, this current system is about to come to its end. Proclaiming this truth, basically. You know, we know that hey, the mark of the beast is about to be pushed on the world. You know, they're gonna they, they're gonna want to chip the plat, basically chip the planet, basically. We know this is all near, and then the great day of the Lord is near, the nuclear missiles. So this is all that's about to take place. And that shouldest, thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants and thy prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest dis Yeah, we fear the Lord's name. We're proclaiming his name, all right? We know who's doing all this. The reason that, that Esau has the power in the first place is because of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The reason he's going to lose his power is because of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So we know who's doing all this. It says, and it says, and fear thy name, all right? Small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And who's destroyed the earth? The so-called white man, man. Destroyed everything, man. Brought this planet. They've had the rulership for a period of time, you know, past, what, 600, 700 years. And look what they've done to this earth, man. Everything is destroyed. People's bodies, the animals, the trees. So the earth is rising up against these Edomites, man. Nature, nature is rising up against these Edomites, man. All right? So we're, we're definitely coming into a, a, a shift in, in worlds, man, like the scripture says. All right. We're definitely we're definitely at the time at this time. We just have to overcome these few more prophecies, man, this, this great tribulation that's going to come. We know it's near. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect Aki, I'm teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kadash. Shalom, Shalom.